three, two, one, release, release, release. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel Invest for Tomorrow with K. Today, we have some major updates on Virgin Galactic, ticker symbol SPCE. I'll put the timestamps on the videos so you could skip to whichever section you like. So here's what we will cover on today's video. Number one, FAA approval. Number two, the public lawsuit which has been filed against Virgin Galactic. Number three, the insider trading. And number four, we'll look at the price action of the stock as well as look at some of the catalysts which are upcoming, which could help move the price further up. So stay tuned. Part one. FAA approval. Virgin Galactic received the FAA approval on June 25th. This is the press release from Virgin Galactic as of June 25th, 2021. Virgin Galactic receives approval from FAA for full commercial launch license following success of May test flight. So as you may have seen my previous video where I spoke with Steve and we were so bullish on Virgin Galactic. If you have not checked it out, here's a link. And the FA approval just goes to show that how strong Virgin Galactic as a company is who is proceeding as per the plan. As you can see, the FA expands company's commercial space transportation operator license to allow carriage of space flight participants. This is such a monumental event that now space tourism is becoming more of a reality than just dream. This statement from Michael Colgazier is very important and there are some hints within here on what's going to happen next. He goes to say, we are incredibly pleased with the results of our most recent test flight, which achieved our stated flight test objectives. This is very important. The flight performed flawlessly and the results demonstrate that the safety and the elegance of our flight system. Today's approval by FAA of our full commercial launch license in conjunction with the success of our May 22nd test flight give us confidence as we proceed towards our first fully crewed test flight this summer. So there are some hints which are hidden here in Michael Colgazier's statement. He hasn't come out and said who that crew will consist of. Now again, as per our earlier schedule, it was supposed to be fully crew flight, then taking Richard Branson as the next step and then taking the Italian Air Force to space. However, since we know that Jeff Bezos has entered the space race, we really don't know at this point in time that whether the next fully crew flight will have Richard Branson or not. Part two, the class action lawsuit. Levy and Korniski LLP announces that the class action lawsuits have commenced on behalf of the shareholders of the following publicly traded company. So in this case, they have filed a lawsuit against Virgin Galactic. According to the filed complaints during the class period, Virgin Galactic Holdings made materially false and or misleading statements and or failed to disclose that. Number one, accounting purposes, Social Capital Hedosphere Holdings Corporation's SCH warrants were required to be treated as liabilities rather than equities. Number two, Virgin Galactic had deficient disclosures, controls and procedures and internal control over financial reporting. Number three, as a result, the company improperly accounted for SCH warrants that were outstanding at the time of the business combination. Lastly, as a result, the company's public statements were materially false and misleading at all relevant times. Now, if you click on this link over here, this will take you to the Virgin Galactic Holdings loss submission form. You can take a look at it over here. So as shareholders, should we be concerned about this lawsuit? From my limited understanding of the legal terminology, I do not see this lawsuit, which can cause Virgin Galactic to be in trouble. If the lawsuit goes in favor of the plaintiffs, I do see that Virgin Galactic will end up paying some money, but these cases generally drag on for some time. So for at least for the near and short term, I don't see this to be a major impact in the stock price for Virgin Galactic. Part three, insider trading. There are some rumors going around that the company executives are selling shares. Michael Moses has recently sold some stocks from the company. So Michael Moses, who is the president of space missions and safety. So Michael oversees the commercial human space flight program. He leads the team in all aspects of safe and successful space line operations, including the White Knight 2 and Spaceship 2 vehicles processing, flight planning, astronaut training and flight crew operations. So as you can see, Michael Moses is one of the main guys who will be responsible for taking Virgin Galactic to space. After I did some digging around, I found that Virgin Galactic on June 28th filed the SEC filing where Michael Patrick Moses sold 870 shares 
on 625 at the strike price of $55.91. So after I did some digging in, I found out that this is the SEC report. Michael Moses sold about 1,000 shares in January. He sold about 871 shares in February. He bought common stocks, 60,000 common stocks in March, and then he sold 877 shares. Then in April, he did the same. And then in May, he did the same. And then again in June, he did the same. If you have ever worked for a company where the company has just went public there is a vesting schedule for the stock options you don't get all the stocks in one go so this looks like that's pretty much the case here where Michael is taking advantage of the high stock price and selling his share so should we as shareholders worry about that at this point in time I don't see any reason why we should be worried about Michael Moses selling about 877 share we know for a fact that Virgin Galactic is in the right path they have been hitting all their milestones so far they even got the FAA approval hence this news should not worry you as the shareholder of the company part 4 price action and catalysts. As you can see from this chart, after hitting its all time high of $65, space has been trending downwards for a very long time until they had a successful test flight on May 22nd, which pushed the stock up about 17%, bringing it up from a lows of $15 to the mid 20s. And since then, the stock has been steadily climbing. So as you can see from this chart, the stock has been consolidating at between $28 and about $40 throughout June. But as soon as we got the FAA approval on the 25th, the stock shot up to $55.91. This was about 35% increment. In a one month, the stock has been up 62.81%. Today, the stock has been trending downwards and it's down 14% about $7. So the stock is also down after hours about another 19 cents or so, which I believe is a healthy correction because the way it shot up 37%, it is really not sustainable at this point in time, which means that the FAA approval was already priced into the stock price. Now the question comes, what are the different catalysts that can push the stock price up? Number one is the announcement of the next test flight, which could come as soon as July 4th or the week of July 4th. Next, when is Richard Branson going to fly? Is he going to fly with the third space flight or as per the schedule on the following test flight? So as soon as we get to know when the next test flight is scheduled and if that test flight can happen within July time frame, I can see this stock price doubling from here on. Will that price be sustainable? I highly doubt, but it will give enough fuel for Virgin Galactic stock to get to the moon. Are you a shareholder of Virgin Galactic? Let me know in the comment section below and tell me who is going to win the space race. Is it going to be Jeff Bezos or Richard Branson? If you liked today's video, don't forget to hit that like button. Click on that subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out these videos when they come out. I'll see you next time, my investor family, but don't forget to invest for tomorrow.